And no. all of them, all, you all of them in Lagos, Let me all of you. them in Nigeria. Listen to me. Nobody. When I'm talking, Nobody. you keep quiet. An arrogant customer who is not ashamed. Pastor Donald, why are you not picking my calls? Why haven't you paid the, the balance up till now? Telling the Honorable Court that I have not been calling him, I have not been picking his call. It's a fabricated fallacy. He did this just to debase me. You are old and you are the one that is being arrogant at the same time. A Nollywood veteran hopes to diversify into marine transportation. Passenger boat I did not see. My money I did not see. I wanted to report him to Madiona. He was testing the boats, wanting to want in the boat sink with engine. The husband does not like the responsibilities, but he likes all the pleasures a woman has to offer. I still believe that man. Well, person one picky. I do go control. The dispute is real and the judgment is binding. This is the Justice Court. On the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Atewa Boyehana, is asking the court to compel her baby daddy to start taking responsibility for their love child. All right. Court in session, Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Atewok Buye and Professor Oula Bili Abiyodo Mita. That is for Thank you. I tell you, boy, huh? you brought the defendant to court. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me what happened? We have a child together. So, like, I told him that if he doesn't want anything to do with me, fine. But he has to take responsibility of, this, of his son. Okay. Well, how did you meet him? How long ago? Oh, okay, he was my mom's customer. So we met at a place, so then we started dating. So, when was this? That was in 2020, I think 2021. So, along the line, it was like a mutual relationship. Along the line, I told him that I'm pregnant. I told him, I actually called him. Then he said, eh, he cannot do anything that is not his business. And I told him that, how will you say it's not your business? Like, everybody knows that we are together. Like, everybody knows us together. So, what are you saying? So, I don't... I don't know, that's it. So, Olabi, what do you have to say to this? Thank you, my honor. My name is Olabi, I met her in a mom shop in 2021, December, to be precise. So, on meeting her, I do know her with some other guys in our area that time, before then. So, we met, we be friends. So, we started dating by January ending, 2022. So we dated for nine months, for the time of nine months. So from January 2022 to early October 2022. So, That's by... Right. This guy is a liar, no? Okay. He's obviously lying. Okay, go ahead. Okay, my honor. So by December 2022, she called me early morning. We, by, you know, I told you that we... And then we don't talk again from October 2022. So by December 2022, she called that she is pregnant. I say, for what? For who? How? That I've seen you for the past three months. Then why will you tell me that you are pregnant? So that is fine. I said, I don't have anything to do with you, neither the pregnant or any, anything that related to that. Okay, fine. So since then... She started calling my, my siblings that I've never for once introduced her to that this is my girlfriend or this is my fiancé or we are dating. I've never introduced her to any of them. And so, so she called everybody, including my ex. Mm -hmm. She called my ex. She texted my ex. She even she, she called my brother and tell my brother that my mom is a winch that I have been used for sacrifice. So my I'm honor. just talking nonsense because it's all story. I don't have time for all this. What you are saying, I don't have time for it. Did you say that? 
My Mom, honor. Did you say that? Like, I don't, I don't want to talk too much, but now I think I'm going to talk. Okay. Yes. My honor, I didn't be she wanted to report me. And she came here to report me. She's supposed to say everything even before I talk I'm because really she's the one that came to complain here and she's supposed to analyze everything. So I'm going to say so I, no, I'm 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 What did you say? I'm sorry, mom. Sorry. No, apologize to him. Sorry. <laughs> my honor. You, the two of you can't call me and start insulting yourself. No, I'm sorry. I don't, I'll compose I don't, myself. I don't insult okay. her. She did. So, and. She, she's so disrespectful to me, my siblings, my mom, everybody around me, without even us dating or even us married yet. So on this note, I and when I that's why I said we should do the DNA of the child. I don't know if it's mine or not because I'm not sure. Because there. But if the child, the DNA result comes out and the child turns out to be yours, will you take care of that baby? My own, my own you, you, what the law says is you have to take care of the baby. I'm not saying take care of her. But that baby that you both brought into the world, if the baby is yours, do you understand me? I understand, ma. You will have to do that. That's what the law says. Mom, please, can I talk? Have you, have you finished? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. Okay, since you want us to expose each other, I'll help you. It's very easy. You want us to expose each other. Okay. I'll start. So, this guy, this guy... I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to talk much before. But now it seems... Just talk. Mm, Go straight. I'm going to talk. Please, excuse me. So, sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. So, Jackie, sorry. So, this... You heard what he ma, just said about you. Mama. You have to compose yourself. I'm you say you insult everybody again. Because he has been lying. And Everything you he said. Most of the things he said, he lied. This, he said he knows me with a lot. He was dating someone before he met me. He lied that he does not have a girlfriend. He lied. Then when I took his phone, I saw all their child. I asked you, that where is this? And you told me you don't have a girlfriend. It, it was like, eh, they are no longer together. They are no longer this. Fine, I was dating someone before. But there was nothing between us. Because the guy was irresponsible. That was why I left him. Then I, I, I felt like, okay, this person is irresponsible. Someone I can be with. That was why I moved with him. Him saying I've been, I, 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 he knows me with a lot of guys. That's total gibberish. So... Um, after um, with, after a long time like, we were dating, everything was going smoothly. Like uh, we didn't introduce him to anybody. Fine, cause I'm not yet his fiance. I'm just a girlfriend, so it's normal. So when he took me, it's, uh, we always go to his um, sister's place once in a while. Shall we always go there? So um, along the line, when I told him I was pregnant, he said it does not have anything to do with me. It's not the owner of the pregnancy. And this guy, I don't want to talk. Fine, I'm going to talk. When we were dating, this guy, I saw some things in his house. I saw some things in his house, which those things is into fraud. Yes, I'll say it. You want us to expose you, you, each other. You know what? I'm going to do you that. Know, you, you know what? Um, Order! No, wait. I always caution on certain things. Anybody Sorry. can. No, wait, no. Anybody can come out yes. to say anything. But if you cannot back it up with evidence and he reports you, you will be the one that the police will tie down. You will be the one that will leave. So what you see, you have evidence to back it up, go ahead. Because what the law says, if you see a crime being committed and you do not report it, that means even you yourself, you are liable. Okay. So if you see a crime being committed then, and you did not report it, and you are aware, you are duty bound to report. So you can go ahead and you can. And you okay. should have evidence to back it up too. Okay, there's no evidence. Fine, let me just cut down out of it. <laughs> but I know, and you know, also know, so it's fine. So um, the reason why the relationship came to an end was that he cheats a lot. Ah. It's just a lot, and he's the only one I have. It's just you a lot. just told me now that he was dating somebody. Yeah, no, before, like when the relationship started, when I didn't know and that you he had. I did not someone. know that time. No, I didn't know. It was when I checked his phone, that was when I saw that he had someone. So it was like, ah, we are no longer dating. So uh, when the, what happened, why the relationship came to an end was that 
It is a lot. Even when we were in a relationship, he had other people that I used to see. I would tell him that what is all this? He would say, eh, this one, nothing is going on. Even they call him, nothing is going on. So when I got tired, I just stopped talking to him. Not like I ended the relationship. We didn't have any, okay, we are no longer together. I just stopped talking to him. So, and that was, um, that was November, November 20, last year, yes, November. So when I told, uh, when I stopped talking to him, he like, he just composed himself. He didn't talk to me again. So around December, I went to his place last. When, the last time I went to his place was November. So December, I called him. That was him. I told him that, bro, I'm pregnant with that. What are we going to do? He gave me money. He said, hey, send that. Can you give me 30K? Hey, go and do abortion or whatever. I told him that it's not possible, that I can't do that. I told him. That I can't do that, that we have to find something to do about this. I went to his sister's place. His sister was just telling me that it's, it's, it's not a business, that we should not call. I went to his brother that is a pastor. That one was just saying it's not his business, blah, 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 blah. So when I got tired, I saw um, this show on TV. I was like, okay, I can. I think this is a nice, a nice place to bring him to. That was, like, that was what happened. And since then, he has been running, running around. We've been trying to, like contact him, he blocked everybody. Even when I delivered, no, I told him, he didn't do anything, he just saw it. I even sent the baby's um, picture to him, like, okay, fine, you don't want me, oh, it's okay, oh, nobody's fighting you, but take care of your child, like, it's very important. Don't be irresponsible, like, take care of the child. The plaintiff, Atewakbo Yehana, claims that the defendant used to be a mother's customer before they started dating and got pregnant. The defendant, Owolabi Peter, claims that Hannah was seeing other men while they were together. He doubts if he was responsible for Anna's pregnancy. Judge Fumi waits into this matter. My Honor, I will start from where she you stopped. Know, you know, just before okay. you continue, okay. I would love to chip in something. If you are not ready, then don't go for it. If you must, take precaution. You are both adults. You know the outcome of what you were doing could be. Do you understand what I I'm saying? So if you are not ready for it, then why? Go ahead. Thank you, my honor. She, she said she sent the picture to me. And yeah, she said I've blocked her on every social media. The first place I asked she delivered is that she, and they called me, a mediator called me, Barista Falabi called me that. And I tell her, boy, Anna reported me to, to them that I don't take responsibility of the child she gave birth to, which I didn't know she gave birth to any child. Because she said it now that I block her on every social media. And how did you send it to you me? Have a, you have a Facebook page for your business. Yes, your business page. I have, like, I can show you. The men, you saw it seen on Facebook. I don't know. You saw it. Stop lying. You I'm, saw I'm a, it. I'm a fashion designer. Should I bring the phone and show you? I have evidence to back. You know what? Where, where we are. Um, can you please step forward, madam? Let's have the result of the PS <laughs> DNA. <sighs> this is the, res the result of the test carried out by LinkedIn Laboratories and DDC USA for the alleged father and the baby in question. Thank you. Thank you. The child's name, Mitchell Oluwafemi Atawaboye, alleged father. The alleged father is Peter Abiodu. Or will I be? The probability of paternity is ninety-nine point nine 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 percent. DNA analysis is positive. You are the father. Of Michel Olua Femi at Do you understand? Now, I have an advice for you. I've said it before and I'm repeating it again. If you are not ready, then don't do it. 
Because you know the result. Without recursion, without any uh, precaution. When you have a child, this is it. So, and for you, your mouth is too sharp. Mom, it's not that I'm angry. I'm really, really angry. I'm mad at things. Really, really mad. Your mouth is too sharp. I'm telling you, I'll tell you the truth. Do you understand? Yes. I know how you feel. Now, because you know that's the father of the child. Yes. And for you, it's not being responsible towards the welfare of that child. Yes, ma'am. I know how you feel. And I've told you too. If you know you are not ready for a child, you should have taken precaution. Do you understand? Yes, and if, I'm not sure, it's what she said. If you have several girlfriends, you can end up having several children just the way you've just landed with one. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. So you have to take a lot of precaution and um, take responsibility. How old is the baby now? Um, it's going to be four months, um, this month. Four months. You have to start giving her upkeep for the child. I don't know. To take care of the baby for now. You have to give her upkeep. So how much are you looking at? I have the right to mention a figure, but I always try to be to balance everything. So you come up with something very reasonable. Yes, my own. Mm. I am a fashion designer by profession. You have a child. Your child must feed. She's been feeding that child. I, did you put anything? Did they give you anything for the delivery? Nothing. I can go all day. Delivery, the antenata. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The past four months is there. I'm asking you to take it off from here. So don't give me any story. If you are not ready to give something that is reasonable, you think you can afford that is reasonable, I'll give you a figure and we take it from there. Not that, my honor. How much do you want to? You can... I can be paying 30,000 anyway. First of all, let me say congratulations to you. <laughs> you just discover you are that. Do you understand? A boy, right? Friend. Yes, ma'am. I want you to, uh, despite everything, because you are very young, I'm going to refer the two of you to counselor. Mm? He's going to guide you on how to co-parent. Even if you both decide you don't want to be a couple. Do you understand? Yes, so you'll be able to know how to raise. You have to balance it. So I'm referring you to marriage counselor to counsel you now to co-parent over Olua Femi. Right? You name the child Olua Femi. No, ma'am. You know the name will change to Ola be now. <laughs> That's your child. But, ma'am, mm? sorry, ma'am, but we are not married. It doesn't matter. The child must bear the name, of, should bear the name of the father. Especially now that we're sure about the paternity. There's no doubt that is the father. You don't want the, the child to bear the name of the father? Do you have a reason for that? I don't just, I don't just want, I don't just want. <laughs> no, I don't, no. I don't want. You have to let the child bear the name of the father. Do you understand? That's your son. Do you have any other children? No, ma. That's your first child. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's going to start giving 30,000 is convenient to you by now. Yes, so he's going to start giving you 30,000 there. Do you have a bank account details? No, ma. You have to give him your bank account details. Okay. Send it to him. So he'll be giving you 30,000 naira on a monthly basis for now. If for any reason there is medical bill, do you understand me? I'm not saying give her the money for that. Pay to the hospital for the welfare of the child. Okay. And this is subject to review because you know the child will get to the stage of school and everything. But for now, 30,000 naira on a monthly basis and pick the medical bill. Do you have something to say? Yes, ma'am. What is it? 
I want to urge you my honor. Like, she, she has abused my sister, my siblings. She called my mom winch, which she has not talked to my mom before on phone, neither see her face to face. She called her winch. She said they are still me for sacrifice. Was your mom there when she was called a witch? She texted my brother. She told my younger brother that she should keep it secret between my younger brother and her that she, she is a prophetess. And meanwhile, on the long run, she, she gave my number to all the Avas, Woli and Babala Wos. They are calling me, texting me on phone. They text me. I have the evidence here. I had to block them. Even the message she sent to my... When they text you, what do they say? One... What the, his name is Ava Toib. Mm -hmm. He texts me that he is from I that he, he is calling me from Anna Atelgoi. That he, he started threatening me that the child is mine, that he has checked it, and if I don't do this or this, and they continue to curse me, they started cursing the me. The child is yours. Yes, I know. You my have honor. taken responsibility of your yeah. child now. Yeah, we have agreed on that. Then, caution anybody that you have given out his number to. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Over anything negative, they must stop it. No, we haven't been... Cyberbullying. For a long time. Do you understand? Yes. Cyberbullying is an offense. Yes. It's a criminal offense. They have to stop all this. Either they go somewhere to write something up about him or start sending negative, you know. They can't. They don't have the right. Why did you give out the numbers in the first place? These are not your family I members. I about his numbers uh, to just two people. Which people? Those two people. Which? And those people, they are close to me. They were like, I, I told them about what happened. They were like, okay, they will talk to him. A lot of people called him, my sister, my mom, my dad, but he blocked everybody and, and just called their number. I didn't, see, I don't want to talk much. Yeah, you are doing all this. These are far you are talking, they are your boyfriend. Yes. Are you like they are your boyfriend. <laughs> This are far you are, are you talking. Lying? He even revert, he, he <laughs> said as you go, he, he, she is the one wow. that is doing this thing and she's lying to me that I do this, I do that. She said me. I do for I'm, I, I'm chattered and stop breaking. Like, I... Oh, I you, know, you know what? She, the two of you, you are going to meet a marriage counselor. You are just talking. You say I'm not talking. Listen to me, right? The two of you, you are going to have eight sessions with the marriage counselor. You work out the time arrangement on how to co-parent. And um, even if you are not married, the two of you have to respect each other. Bitterness, you have to put a stop to bitterness and bickering. You have to stop bickering. Oluwa family will grow up. Hmm. When he grows up, he should be able to come to you Feel free, stay with her, and be at peace. I don't want either of you telling her negative, telling him negative things about each other. It's the way it is. It's the reality. How do you make the best of the situation? That's what matters most now. The DNA test result clarifies Peter's doubt on the paternity of the love child. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement and recommends counseling sessions on co-parenting. After the break, judge for me rules. So you go for that and the marriage counseling session, go for a session, work it out. The legal team will guide you on how to do that. Then 30,000 naira on monthly basis for now. And if there's any cost for review, either of you can approach the court again. That's my rule. All right. If your baby daddy is denying paternity of the child to avoid upkeep or you suspect misattributed paternity situations, submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter.